Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 23rd of August 2019 and the time has just gone 11.18 British Summer Time. And this week's Chart of the Week is the Australian dollar versus the US dollar. And taking the wider view, uh, we can see here in the chart that the Australian dollar versus the US dollar, the Aussie dollar as referred to, has been in a solid downward trend for, trend for quite some time. And uh, on this basis, this video is all about discussing is that downward trend going to continue and we, are, are we going to see further losses or could we potentially see a rebound uh, in the price of the in the, uh, in the Aussie dollar. Now, um, one, of, one of the things that's going on in the Australian economy is we've seen a couple of interest rate cuts by the Reserve Bank of Australia uh, in, in recent months. Uh, the Australian economy is, is clearly slowing down. The Australian economy is very much tied in with, with what's going on in China. China is slowing down. The US-China trade situation is hanging over the markets, and that's part of the reason uh, why the, the Australian dollar has, has cooled so much. Uh, the Australian dollar is often gets referred to as one of the commodity currencies, and essentially uh, what, what, what that means is that the movements in the underlying commodity markets often determine or influence the, the move uh, in, in the, in the so-called commodity currencies, the likes of the Australian dollar, the New Zealand dollar, the Canadian dollar. So we can see here that the Australian dollar has been in a fairly clear downward trend. And if you take a look at what's going on in the copper market, China is a big importer of copper. If China is slowing down, which it is. Their demand for copper, tend, uh, the, the price of copper tends to be um, tends to be pushed lower. I'm not saying there's a, there's a complete correlation between the two markets, but it's worth keeping. If, you, if you're going to be trading the Australian dollar versus the US dollar, it's worth keeping an eye on what's going on in copper. We can see at the wider term view, we can see that the copper market has been pushing lower. And we can also note that the, that the current level we're at in copper isn't too far away from the early August lows. And those early August lows, we can see, have been a fairly significant area of support recently. And if we do see a significant break below the, those recent lows in the copper market, that could um, signal, like that could have a bearish consequence for the Australian dollar. It might not, but it is worth keeping an eye on, seeing as both markets have been under pressure recently because both markets are tied in with what's going on in Australia. Now, we can see here that the last few sessions, the Australian dollar has been trading a fairly narrow range. Um, so th th this could be kind of this consolidation period could reflect a bit of a cooling off after the recent aggressive sell-off. It could also be the calm before the next leg lower, or maybe this could be the bottom uh, forming and the market is going to push higher. If the wider negative trend does continue and we take out the recent lows, we could be looking at heading back down towards um, this, this spike lower here in at 0 spot 6677. And a break below that could take us back down towards 0 spot 66. But if you do see a push higher in the Australian dollar versus the US dollar, this region here is in around the 0 spot 6830 mark. It's kind of just above the recent highs here and, and just below the kind of support here. So it's there, there. It's a bit of a zone. It's not a precise um, um, figure to be exact because uh, the lows here in 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 uh, in mid in, in mid uh, in mid June were, were in around zero spot sixty eight thirty, but not quite there. And the highs were just were just below zero spot sixty eight thirty years. So keep an eye out for this zone if you do manage to press higher. If you do take out that metric, keep an eye out for the zero spot 69 area. There's a bit, there's been a bit of a consolidation um, in that area on a few occasions. It also coincides with the 50 day moving average, this blue line here, which on a few occasions has acted as both resi as a resistance and also a support, which makes it more likely that it will be an, an important metric in the near term. Um, taking a look at this red line here, the 200 day moving average, we can see on a few occasions um, we, um, that, that metric has proved to be a resistance point for the Australian dollar, US dollar. So I saw we really, if you get back above that, uh, that that red line, the 30 moving average, which comes to play at zero spot 7051, which is admittedly quite a far, far far away at the moment. It's only really if you get above that line, could then we be, that metric, could then we begin to think, you know what, maybe the wider downward trend has come to an end in the Australian dollar. Now, if you are going to be trading the Aussie dollar versus the US dollar, please keep an eye out for the Jackson Hole Symposium today uh, at 1500 British summer time. J uh, Jeremy Jerome Powell, the head of the Federal Reserve, is due to speak. This will be closely watched. There's a lot of talk about the Fed cutting rates next month. But then again, on the other hand, there's an argument to say the Fed should stand still. Unemployment is very low. Inflation is on the rise and it's comfortably outstripping er uh, uh, earnings. 
Retail sales uh, are strong in the U.S. There's an argument um, from, from the economic indicators point of view that the Fed should ho hold still. Um, if you are trading the Aussie dollar uh, next Tuesday and the early hours of Tuesday morning, uh, the, the, um, the deputy head of the Reserve Bank of Australia, Guy DeBell, uh, is speaking in the early hours. So any kind of comments from the central bank could also influence the Australian dollar. If you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on reviews. Thank you very much.